Welcome back guys, this is Justin with Core Graphics, and I want to show you guys how you can improve your intro making by using multiple cameras and how to sequence those cameras. As you can see in this project, I have a buttload of cameras of different shots that I want in this intro, which I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cameras in this intro. So you can already imagine that with eight cameras, it's going to be something really nice. And yes, as you're going to notice that I did kind of uh, get my inspiration from the Saints Row intro thingy that they have. Uh, that's kind of what my client wanted, and so I made something very much something like it. But let's go ahead and get on with this tutorial here. As you can see, I got my cameras. I have them labeled. Uh, just to give you a quick run through, uh, this is going to be 30 through 60. So, so far, we got the GR right there, and it's just kind of zooming into that. And then at frame 60, I got some bullets that are going to come up. And that's going to end at frame 120. And then at 120, I got some more bullets coming off of the wings. And then at 121, I mean 181, got some more bullets. And that's going to end at. 230. Yep. And then starting at 230, I got his name coming out. That's going to end at 260. Because that's going to be a pretty short camera. And then I got another camera that starts at 260. And that's going to be showing more of his name. That's going to go to 290. Then starting at 290. I got the HD that's going to come in. And that's going to end at 320, another short camera. And then we have a full camera out here, which I'm probably going to uh, change the length of that and make that a little bit longer. But yeah, that's pretty much what we're working with. The basic animation is something like this. Bullets come out. Bullets come out from the top, and that resets. Then bullets come out from the bottom, and then his name comes into the intro, and then HD, and then we've got our line right here. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and get right on into it. What I'm going to need to create is a stage. And what this stage is going to do is it's going to allow you to uh, switch from camera to camera throughout your timeline. So let's go ahead, go to frame zero, and let's keyframe it. Let's go ahead and drop our first camera in. And since that's going to be going to 60, I'll keyframe that at 59. Keyframe, go to next frame, and I'm just going to be dropping in my cameras into here. So that's 60 and I'm gonna go ahead and just rinse repeat just about everything. So around 129 I'll keyframe it and then at 120 drop my next camera keyframe and then go to 179 keyframe next camera actually no because uh, that one starts at 181 so technically I should leave that one right there 180 now I'm gonna drop this one in all right that's keyframed uh, let's see. 29. I'll go ahead and keyframe that. Let's take a bad stage. There we are. All 
All right, so that's 230 through 260. Yep. So I'm going to go to 259. Keyframe that. Let's see, and drop that right there. Keyframe. And then to 2.99, keyframe that. Let's see, oh, what am I doing? Uh, that doesn't start until, uh, let's see, which camera am I at? All right, so that's a 260 through 290, so, I mean, 290 through 320. So I'm going to keyframe that at 319. And then go ahead and drag that in. Keyframe. And then at 320. I think I dropped the wrong camera in there at first. Wait, did it? Uh, oh boy, I think I messed up. Alrighty, uh, I messed up because I didn't hit this keyframe. So I gotta go back and do that all over. But you know the main concept of that, so I'm just going to do a speed run of that and uh, I'll get back to you guys whenever I finish. Alright, that was extremely tedious to an extreme but I think I finally got it let me uh, save my life real fast and save this okay now we're saved okay we're good but uh, as you can see here this is where your camera is being set up at and as I hit play if I did this right there we go Look, look at that. So, pretty, so, so far, we're looking actually really good. Uh, there are probably just going to be some parts that I'll slow down, but more than likely, I'll just do that in post. And I'm not going to slow it down too much. I'm probably going to slow it down about 75%, because if you take 30 frames per second, you times that by... 0.75 I do believe or is it 1.75 either way uh, you're somehow you're going to get 24 frames per second that's a mathematical equation uh, can't think of the equation right now but I did it some on some projects and they turned out to look really cinematic that way but yeah, that's pretty much how to use uh, the stage in uh, sequencing multiple cameras. Uh, one thing I do want to talk about with the cameras is that even though, like, let's choose a... What's a good camera? Dogs barking outside. Uh, 120 through 180. The best way to have a fluid camera motion when you're doing this kind of stuff is have your main animation at the frames that you want it to be at but with your camera set it back 10 frames and then set it forward 10 frames like if you got some camera movement going on and you also got an animation 
the animation doesn't start until 120 and it ends at 180 but let's see I'll uncheck that as you can see like it starts at 120 ends at 180 because of here that's kind of where the animation restarts but what I have is before the 120 I went ahead and set back the camera 10 frames or at least it should be 10 frames something like that so that way it's automatically moving by the time it gets to that camera so that way it doesn't like stand still for like a couple of seconds or a couple milliseconds and then goes it's automatically just going like that it's still moving and this is pretty much what the project is going to look like hopefully I'll have it done within a uh, probably three or four more days because I still have to take this in the post and uh, do some editing with that in which I'm not sure exactly how long that's going to take but that's the goal for this project anyway but yeah that's pretty much how you can really improve your intro making using multiple cameras and then using stage to sequence all your cameras together so I have been Justin Core Graphics and I will see you guys in the next video take care guys